Morning. Oh, hey guys. Parker Hello. and Connor. Welcome. All right. Great. Come All right. on in. All right. Go learn something, guys. Welcome Thank back. You. <laughs> yeah. Learn something, right? Yep. Yeah. Good morning. I can take this off. <laughs> There's absolutely nobody around up here. I'm at Great Falls National Park in uh, Washington, D.C., uh, just outside of Washington, D.C. This is a waterfall and rapids park, and it's actually pretty impressive. Unfortunately, I don't have a good enough signal to do a broadcast from here, so you're just going to have to get a playback on YouTube. But uh, I need to do my morning walk, and I decided to just drive up here. It took about 10, 15 minutes out of the city. Let's take a look. Told you it was bloody cold. It's like ice. So in the summer months, they actually have the canal flooded up here, and they have a canal boat that makes its way up and down the CNO Canal, pulled by donkeys. Not so much today, though. The Billy Go Trail, that's the tricky one. The Billy Go Trail is like up and down a bunch of rocks out into an island out in the middle of the rapids. It's a lot of fun, but you kind of have to be a Billy Goat to get there. Uh, what to do if you drown? I don't want to know what that is. Wow, the water's uh, kind of eroding the trail a tad bit. Ooh, it's cold. I think that's called a pillow rapid. We used to learn about those when we were whitewater canoeing. It looks like a pillow, but what that basically means is that there's a rock there, a big rock. But we would do eddy turns and get behind those in the middle of a rapid if we were in trouble, because they would uh, create this like soft pocket of water. That'd be kind of fun to run that. It's so cold. I'm the only person here. I actually did put my mask on because it's warmer. A lot of people don't realize, but this is only this is only about 15, 20 minutes away from Washington D.C. So it's so flipping cold. I put my mask back on because it's keeping my face warm. Uh, I'm the only person here, so. I could probably get away with not wearing it, but hey, like I said, it's really cold. So uh, national parks have basically a Luddite policy on cell phone towers. They just don't like cell phone towers in national parks. As a result, it's pretty much impossible to get a signal in most national parks. I'm, a, I'm only... 10 minutes away from Washington, D.C., 10 minutes away from international airport, shopping malls, etc. But I'm in a dead zone here. Absolutely no cell service. It's kind of crazy. Bloody cold. This is Great Falls on the Potomac River, about 15 miles northwest of Washington, D.C. I think in kayaking terms, this is like a Category 5. I don't think the kayakers even go down this one. I'm not sure. I've never seen them. I know they go down some of the ancillary areas, but the main one here I think is just a bit too much. Olmsted Island. 
Olmstead's a pretty famous architect of parks. I think Olmstead did Central Park and the National Zoo. Not really sure though. I think we've got a beaver. That definitely looks kind of like a beaver has been active. Wonder if he's gonna take that one down. There's a deer out here. I don't even know how a deer would get out here. Maybe he just lives out here. He could have come out here when the water was low. So up there is the neighborhood of Potomac, Maryland. And on the other side is Great Falls, Virginia. Both are very, very posh suburbs of Washington, D.C. Very expensive, hoity-toity. But they do have a Five Guys, and that's probably where I'm heading. <laughs> Some helicopters coming. Out of the rising sun. There he is. It's a UH-60, I think. Typical military issue. Very, very common to see in Washington, D.C. Oh, it's a white top. That's a VH-60. VH-60 for a very important person. That's one of the president's fleet of the U.S. Marine Corps. And he is probably on his way up to Camp David area or something like that, or he's just sightseeing taking a look at Great Falls today. I mean, why not? It was pretty. <laughs> Truth be told, I think he was actually just doing a quick sightsee. He's probably got some VIP inside and is transporting him to some military base or something. And they decided to do a loop over the falls. <laughs> ah, wouldn't you? Here's the dried out CNO Canal again. In the summer, this is flooded, so it's actually quite pretty. And in the fall, the leaves come in across the water. It's quite elegant, beautiful. Now, in the summer months, I'd be going that direction. If you go down there about a quarter mile, you can go down to the bottom of the waterfall and you can hop around on the rocks. It's a lot of fun. Today, it's cold. I mean, there's ice. There's literally ice down there, and I don't want to slip and fall into the water. So I think, I think we're going to go to the car and find a Five Guys. This is a wave motion uh, testing tank at Carter Rock, Maryland, and that's the small one big one is coming up ahead and it's probably about four or five times the length of that one. The U.S. Navy uses these tanks to test new hull designs, sonar buoys, torpedoes, whatever, all sorts of different shapes, push through the water to see how it goes. We're just getting up towards the big one now. Also, if we look hard enough, we'll see an anti-aircraft missile battery uh, there are several anti-aircraft missile batteries in Washington, D.C., strategically placed around the city to shoot down any hijacked planes or other threats. There it is. You can see some sort of, looks like a four block, six block, I don't know, is that a Patriot? What is that? Anyway, and behind that, you have the big tank. <laughs> 